Hey guys, hope you're doing good. Today I'm going to demonstrate about what is Oracle Learning Cloud in Fusion SCM and what are the roles required to access Oracle Learning Cloud and how can we create those roles with global access. Then we will assign those roles to an employee and then we will see what are the tasks can be accessed with that access. Okay, let's get started. So first we'll see what is Oracle Learning Cloud and then we will see the roles required to access the Oracle Learning Cloud. Typically, Oracle Fusion Cloud Learning is a skill-driven learning platform that lets individuals, teams and organizations develop the relevant set of skills. It combines formal and informal learning from an external catalog and external provider for a unified learning experience. Before we start, before we start, we need to uh, implement either of these products, like um, either Global Human Resource Cloud Service or Oracle Fusion Talent Management Cloud Service. Now we will see what are the roles required to access Oracle Learning Cloud. To start a learning implementation, someone with application implementation consultant uh, role must opt into the offerings applicable to your business requirement. And you need to have a mandatory role called learning specialist, which can assemble online offerings, courses and specializations. They do this using videos, PDF contents, web links and content from external providers. They can also use Scrum complaint and the ACC complaint content. And if you have HR specialist, with that you can manage a learning catalog and meeting complaints needs across the entire organization. Now we will log in as an employee and then we will uh, create those uh, mandatory three roles. I mean application implementation consultant. A learning specialist and HR specialist then we will assign these three roles to one employee and then uh, we will see with the help of those three roles what are the tasks can be accessed by an employee and uh, as an employee uh, how he can see the his uh, courses and as a HR specialist where he will go and create the learning related stuff and being a manager uh, what are the tasks can be performed um, related to learning? Okay, now I just logged in as employee. So first to create any role, we need to go to the security console. To get the access to security console, a user must be assigned with IT security manager role. That is the important thing. So since I have IT, IT security manager role assigned to my user account, I'm able to access the security console. Now let's look for these three roles. Application, implementation, application, implementation consultant. Implementation consultant. Yes, it's a job role. Okay, this role has to be assigned. And then second thing is learning specialist. Learning specialist. So learning specialist again it's a, it's also job role. And then HR specialist, human resource resource specialist. Human resource specialist. So these three are job roles. Okay. So typically, an application implementation consultant or stack role has unrestricted, unrestricted access to a large amount of data. So assign this role to only those implementation users who do wide range of implementation tasks and handle the setup data across environments. So to save the time, 
uh, I have already created these three roles and then uh, we will see uh, we will go ahead and assign those three roles to an employee so the one that I have created human resource role is my HR spec this is the role that I have created this is the custom role and one more role that I have created is my learning specialist learning specialist so I'll go ahead and assign these three roles to an employee now if you want to know how to create a custom role normally to uh, we have to first look for the job role here see the job role and then copy the job role and then create a custom uh, role that's how we do once we uh, with the custom job role if you assign the custom job role to any employee you can get the access that employee can get the access to the respective pages however he cannot see the data on those pages in order to get the access to data that job role must be associated with the data role and then um, data security policies should be assigned to the data role unless those are assigned uh, user cannot get the access to the data in application so i have already created a custom job roles and then i have already assigned those job roles to the data role and then provide the required access so if you want to see them you just go to uh, my client groups under my client group click on work structure so this is a place where you can see uh, the data role and security profiles you can see the uh, data role that has been created so see this is the um, data role that i have created and then i have assigned the security profile to uh, security profile to this data role and this is my specialist data role um, so for this data role i have already assigned security profiles so if you see here there are two hr specialist role this is this is a uh, custom job role and this is a, these two are custom job roles these two are custom data roles so for timing um, to save the time i have already created them now we will go ahead and assign these roles to the employee so we will take one employee so i'm taking this employee um, so I will go ahead and assign these three roles to employee. Application implementation cons uh, uh, application implementation consultant is an abstract tool. If you want to um, access certain things uh, using that application implementation consultant, typically it has a wide range of uh, access. Uh, on top of that, if you want to restrict or if you want to add something, then you can you need to create a copy of application implementation consultant role, and then you need to add the data security policies to the role at the data security profile level. Then you need to assign. If you don't have any such restrictions, you don't need to um, copy or you don't need to customize this. You can simply add the CDL role itself. So first I will add the application implementation consultant role. Application implementation consultant. So this is the role that I'm adding. So okay. And then I'm adding my two roles that I have customized. YMY H, H aspect data role, H R specialist, and then I am adding one more role called MY underscore learning specialist. So this is the data role that I have created. Yes. And anyhow, by the way, already line manager role is was assigned to this employee. So this employee has employee line manager application implementation consultant hr specialist and learning specialist roles now so just save and close to affect the new roles that have been added to this employee 
we need to make sure run a schedule process called import user and send LDP retrieve LDP. So for time being, I will just run it. Import user. Uh, LDAP, search for the LDAP. Send LDAP. Uh, one more important point is whenever you make any changes to custom either custom job role or data role every time to affect those changes to the data role uh, or to the employees who have been assigned with the role you need to re-grant the access then you need to run this process this is a very important point if you don't run this process then whatever the changes that have been made to the either custom job role or data role will not be affected so i'm going to run one more process called in the trivial dp so yes okay wait till this process goes to success and then sign out play the catch and sign in back then whatever the rules that have been added to this employee those will be affected and you can see the respective pages of the roles so yeah i'm just clearing the catch and then re-log in now yes i just re-log I just logged out, clear the catch, and signing back now. Now we will see as an employee how can an employee go and see learning stuff. As a manager, what are the tasks can be performed against employee uh, as a manager? And then we will also see as a HR specialist where he will go and create, admin can go and create learning related tasks. So First, we'll see employee self-service to see that we have to go to me and let me click on learning. So this is the navigation to see the learning related stuff as an employee. Learning related stuff in the sense, whatever the courses that are assigned to this employee can be seen over here. You can just go to me learning and if, if at all any courses are pending from his end, he can just go to them, evaluate and then complete them. Right now, this employee doesn't have any learnings. If you look at all completed learnings, you can see, okay, this, this was a learning recently has been completed. So if you just open what he has completed, It will show you so he has been assigned to uh, courses learning guided activity and uh, one more evolution both had already been completed and if you review this you can review the content this is one content and if you click on this one you can see what was the evolution was done by this employee yes what are the options has been chosen by this employee while evaluating it so that's how an employee can go and see his evolution in case if he doesn't if he has any uh, um, courses that needs to be completed then those courses can be seen over here the required learning or current learnings okay so if you wanted to um create any task or configurations related things related to learning or setup related things related to learning just go to my client groups click on learning and uh, these are the tasks that are related to learning typically we create the content first 
um, and then we will create a, a courses under course we will create the offering under offering we will add the activity and uh, once we are done with this course step then we will add the learners so whom those courses has to be enrolled where how those courses has to be enrolled those can be seen over it and uh, this is the main page where an admin can set up anything related to learning and if you want to see as a manager what are the tasks can be done you just go to my team my team where is my team Tools manager maybe this employee doesn't have any report is assigned members got yes so yeah this employee it seems he doesn't have report is assigned that's why he's not able to see line manager on my team access okay. so yeah that's how we can access the learning and if you have any questions you can just uh, mention in the comments in my next video i'll show you the business process of learning module and i'll um, take one hypothetical example and then i'll show you how to set up those courses there are two three courses are there and what is the relationship between uh, performance and learning model and hr model that also will be shown in my future videos thanks so much